Thank you, JC. And you know, JC just mentioned the flooding. Kentucky got a lot of the brunt of that, and several roads were closed throughout today. News 3's Paul Wilcoxon was there. He has those details. Signs like the ones here, water over roadway, road closed to through traffic right here on the intersection of 121 and 62 here in Carlisle County, Kentucky, have one meaning and one meaning behind them to warn the drivers of the impending danger ahead of them if they continue. All it takes is about six inches of moving water to push a vehicle off the roadway. With the heavy rainfall that fell in our area late Monday night, Officials with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet worked throughout the night looking for flooded roadways. Just about any time that we get a substantial rainfall after it's been dry for as long as it has, uh, you can expect some roadway flooding. Keith Todd is the spokesperson for District 1, which is the 12 most western counties in Kentucky. Several counties throughout the area had some portions of the roadways closed, most of those have opened. We had a couple of spots with some localized uh, rainfall that were not on what we would call our usual suspects list. Areas like in Carlisle County where water from the Mayfield Creek spilled onto Highway 62, making traveling in that area dangerous. It's pretty easy uh, when it's a really dark night that, uh, you know, water can be running across a roadway and you may not see it till you actually hit it. With the flood, there's an increased chance of debris being washed up into the roadway. Todd says his department had a solution for that as well. We had crews out in several counties today using snow plows to push debris off of roadways. And even more than a year after the devastating tornadoes that hit Western Kentucky, Todd says it's understandable that people are still on edge when it comes to severe weather. There's still some um, uh, battle weariness there, I'm sure, from the people that, that survived those storms uh, at Mayfield and at Dawson Springs. Reporting in Carlisle County, Kentucky, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3.